Psalm 35, verse 1. O Lord, oppose those who oppose me, fight those who fight against me. Put on your armor and take up your shield. Prepare for battle and come to my aid. Lift up your spear and javelin against those who pursue me. Let me hear you say, I will give you victory. Bring shame and disgrace on those trying to kill me. Turn them back and humiliate those who want to harm me. Blow them away like chaff in the wind, and wind sent by the angel of the Lord. Make their path dark and slippery, with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. Verse 7 I did them no wrong, but they laid a trap for me. I did them no wrong, but they dug a pit to catch me. So let sudden ruin come upon them. Let them be caught in the trap they set for me. Let them be destroyed in the pit they dug for me. Then I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be glad because He rescues me. With every bone in my body I will praise Him. Lord, how can we compare with You? Who can compare with You? Who else rescues the helpless from the strong? Who else protects the helpless and poor from those who rob them? Malicious witnesses testify against me. Verse 11 They accuse me of crimes I know nothing about. They repay me with evil for good. I am sick with despair. Yet when they were ill, I grieved for them. I denied myself by fasting for them. But my prayers returned unanswered. I was sad as though they were my friends or family, as if I were grieving for my own mother. But they are glad now that I am in trouble. They gleefully join together against me. I am attacked by people I don't even know. They slander me constantly. They mock me and call me names. They snarl at me. How long, O oh Lord, will you look on and do nothing? Rescue me from their fierce attacks. Protect my life from these lions. Then I will thank you in front of the great assembly. I will praise you before all the people. Verse 19. Don't let my treacherous enemies rejoice over my defeat. Don't let those who hate me without cause gloat over my sorrow. They don't talk of peace. They plot against innocent people who mind their own business. They shout, ha ha ha. With our own eyes we saw him do it. O oh Lord, you know all about this. Do not stay silent. Do not abandon me now, O oh Lord. Wake up. Rise to my defense. Take up my cause, my God and my Lord. Declare me not guilty, O oh Lord my God. For you give justice. Don't let my enemies laugh about me in troubles. Don't let them say, look, we got what we wanted. Now we will eat him alive. May those who rejoice at my troubles be humiliated and disgraced. May those who triumph over me be covered with shame and dishonor. But give great joy to those who come to my defense. But give great joy to those who came to my defense. Let them continually say, Great is the Lord who delights in blessing his servant with peace. Then I will proclaim your justice, and I will praise you all day long. And this is the word of the Lord, guys, and thanks be to God. It's an amazing psalm, isn't it? And David says, in Psalm 35, David says, you know, amazing words like that he was praying for the people that had a hard time. He was fasting for them. Isn't that an example for, for us? That David in Psalm 35 says that he was praying and fasting for people that were sick and had a difficult time. And later on, those very people turned against him. They were the very people that were opposing him, that were attacking him. And doesn't that happen to us sometimes that the people that we love, the people that we pray for, the people we fast for, the people that we are for, sometimes turn against us. But I like that David turns to God for justice, and justice God brings. God is faithful, and He's faithful to bring justice, which belongs to Him, you know, and He will repay.
he will repay. So I will encourage all of you to pray and fast for those that are in challenging times around you. And when people do you wrong, to come to God for justice. Because at verses 26 to 28 says, May those who rejoice at my trouble be humiliated and disgraced. Verse 27, But give great joy to those who came to my defense. Let them continually say, Great is the Lord, who delights in blessing his servant with peace. Then I will proclaim your justice, and I will praise you all day long. So let's come to God and let's praise him all day long. Would you say amen to that? Amen. Amen.